Maybe it's not a ghost. You feds believers now? Could it be a vengeful spirit though? Maybe because heaven shut, like they're stewing and becoming worse. I don't know. Holy wow. <laughs> Someone posted the diner footage of Thin Man to the comments section of our blog. Who? Who cares? Maintain current velocity. Harry, what? Why are you putting your ninja outfit on? Uh, I'm not gonna wait for someone else to die. I'm gonna find uh, Thin Man tonight. Where? The woods, obvi. He's so different. The video of uh, Trey getting knifed, it's already online. It has like 2,000 views. It's like somebody wants people to see Thin Man in action. It's because people will watch, because people are sick. And when did viral go from that baby chimp falling out of a tree to killer candid camera? That's what happens. So I, when you were five, you got dressed up more as more Batman shot. and you jumped off the shed because you thought you could fly? After you jumped first. Hey, I was nine and I was dressed up like Superman, okay? Everybody knows that Batman can't fly. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> I broke my arm. I know you did. Dad, I drove you to the ER on my handlebars. Oh! Yeah, good times. Family, Sam. That's family. You cannot blame him for not wanting to lose you. So many memories. Corporate stooge. Okay, this all sounds like sad times at Bitchmont High. What does this have to do with the case? Harry was going to leave, so I needed to give him a reason to stay. So did you create Thin Man? I, I made up Thin Man. Ding, ding. Thin Man it's now stalks a reality. his victims. But the tables have turned, my friends. The stalker is now the stalk E. I hate so you're it. That this crap is actually crap. One old so photo scary. of a butler, a lot of Photoshop later, and I posted on one of those horror forums under anonymous. And it blew up. Yeah, I only faked one case for us. And then we we're packing up to go home when somebody posted a sighting of Thin Man. So we went after it, and that's how the Thin Man became a crowdsource. That's why he's so weird now, because he's got so much guilt. Okay, we were at the front of it. It felt like something. It was so awesome to have a following. And Harry, he was just, he was so into it. Ed, you have to tell him. You don't get it. We were the Thin Man guys. Without the Thin Man, we're just guys, just pops. Yeah, but now that this thing is around, now If I tell pops. Harry, he's going to leave the ghost faces. <laughs> Listen, if you don't tell him, he's going to leave anyway. Trust me here. Secrets ruin relationships. <sighs> that was a dig, wasn't it? I'll just tell him when the time is right. Time's right now, Chief. Well, he's he's not here. Uh, he's he's out in the woods uh, searching for Thin Man. All right. What we have here is a uh, it uh, looks like a formation of sticks in the shape of a pile. Could have been left here for us by Thin Man. What's that? I'm triggered by that battery being so low as well. We are not alone. Oh my god, I hate this! Blood on your hands, my dude. We were right, Ed. Thin Man's real. Yeah. Some fresh tire tracks back over there. I took some photos. What for? Because that car might belong to whoever knifed you. Well, whoever cut me was Thin Man, and Thin Man doesn't drive. <laughs> it was Thin Man, jackass. I mean, I shouldn't have to connect the dots for you guys. I figured, you know, you're both... He still doesn't answer what it is, though. He may have made up this Thin Man, but this thing is... Very similar, so... I, I don't know, I thought you were gonna get mad. Oh, good guess, Ed. I am mad. I'm really, really mad at you right now. I, I can see that. You crashed the Jenga tower of our lives. I was gonna get married. I left her to run around with you living some lie. Well, at least we were living it together. Seriously? <laughs> Seriously? If I hadn't struck gold with Thin Man, you'd be doing a boring job, doing boring numbers, answering to Dana's dad. Okay, I saved you, bud. Save me from what? From living a nice life? Oh, the parallels. I'm not getting stabbed? How selfish can you be? Oh, parallels are strong. Got to me, Ed. Here, we can get through this. We just debunk Thin Man, and then we go back to Ghost Facers. I can't trust you anymore, Ed. Ugh. 
Oh, come on, hurry. The Winchesters, and now the ghost faces. I can't deal with this. You okay? I just got punched right in the feels. <laughs> Me, every time I watch a Supernatural episode. <laughs> I feel like that's a meme right there. None of it was real, Sam. Ed was just pretending. And, and now he wants me to pretend like this is just something I could get past. I mean, Sam can relate. I know what you mean. Interesting to see what his advice will Look, be now. there are things you can forgive, and there are things you can't. So which one is this? That's something you gotta figure out for yourself. Ugh. Hey. Uh, gotta beat on those tire treads if you wanna. Sam and Dean caught something, so. They're gonna clean up your mess. You're right, it is my mess. I should be the one out there cleaning it up. You just make it worse. Oh, what? You were fine leaving Sam and Dean before, why not now? Before the heartache, before the lies, we set out to help people, right? Yeah. Mostly. So there's no reason not to get out there and do what we mostly set out to do. Harry, I, I can make this right for the both of us. We can make it right. Yay! He forgave a lot quicker than what Sam is with Dean. Very different circumstances, of course. I thought we said my partner and I would take care of this. Look, guys, my boss is AWOL. We don't have a warrant. My ass is on a line if, if this thing goes sideways. All right, just stay back. You little snake. Always wanted to use these things. I mean, I there was a little tiny bit of doubt in my mind if he was going to be okay, but then I just shut it down instantly because he just seemed so sweet. What a fool. Fell for that. Sam, make him stop. Hey, so what's the deal? What are you, Norwood? You a demon? I mean, how did you teleport back at the diner? Team effort. I hate it. It was the guy, yeah. So there was no teleporting. I thought so. Douchebags doing a scream thing. But I know who you are. You're the bus boy from the diner. So what, you just wanted to kill your boss? Trey was a dick. Hey, what about Casey? What did she do? She wouldn't go out with me, so I set her up with someone else. My knife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, hilarious. <laughs> Such a knee slapper, Rog. Well, he really should have given me the time off I asked for. So you killed him? So they're dealing just with, I nearly swore then, humans that are not very nice. I'm just gonna call them something that rhymes with ticks. You two are lucky ducks. You're the stars of our best video yet. And when it goes viral, everyone will know Thin Man is real. I hate that mask. I hate it. Wait, no, no, no. Don't! Gonna get saved by the ghost faces. <laughs> Duct tape just hanging off. All that chapstick just moistening that tape right up. Ooh. Oh, he got me. He got me back. Oh, oh. Hey, Scooby-Doo time, douchebag. Take off the mask. I know you're not thin, man. You're just a meme. Ed is pronounced meme. It's <laughs> You're a meme a, a man meme. And I invented you. Oh. Good to know. Nice saving, guys. <laughs> Teamwork. Oh? No. He's killed him? Whoa, Dean. Whoa. Wait! No, no, no. I got enough bullets for both of you. 
not how I thought it would go down. I thought they would just ring the police and they'd be taken away. Mind you, I guess the sheriff is dead and he was a cop, so... I can't believe he stabbed him, though, like that. They weren't supernatural. I can't believe that. Just friggin' people. Well, like I said, people are sick. So, are we cool? I don't think we ever will be. <laughs> I mean, you know, we made it right. We, we beat the guys. I think this would be our shot to start the old ghost facers again. I came here with you to finish this thing with Thin Man. I wasn't just closing a chapter, Ed. It was the whole dang book. But you saved my life back there. I killed a guy, Ed. He was a bad guy, Harry. He was a guy, Ed. Too many people have died because of your crap. I've done all this crap for us, and I, I don't know why you don't see that. No. No. You did this for it for yourself. I knew he was going to say it. I hate the writers for doing this as well. And they're just seeing it from an outsider now. Look, this isn't one of them. Great. So what does this mean about us? It means... We're it's done. complicated. So complicated, again, still not finalizing. This is like, I'll work with you, but I'm not gonna be your brother. Can I get a ride from you guys? <laughs> uh, dear. Yeah, sure. I guess some mistakes are just a little bit too, too big to forgive. Harry, you okay? Yeah, I mean, you roll with a guy so many years, you start to think he's always going to be next to you. Like, when you're old, drinking on the porch, you'll be in that other rocking chair. And then something happens, and you realize that other chair is gone empty. You know what I mean? They do. They do know what you mean. I feel like they're torturing me here. They're really dragging this out. <sighs> so we get to see the ghost faces again. Not the happiest of episodes though. The parallels that they were playing from the ghost faces to the Winchesters was, I don't know, it just bothered me a lot. And I think it bothered me more so because it didn't have any closure or any help to our situation. It just added another one on that hurts. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to explain. I think because Dean and Sam were seeing it from the outside, pretty much what they were going through, someone else was going through those same things. And they had no answers for it. They were just sort of, I can relate, because they're going through the same thing. There was no resolution, so it was still kind of open. Yeah, it was rough. Really rough, I think. So overall, it was a, a, like a monster of the week, but Underlion had still some really strong character development points as well. This monster of the week was terrifying to me. And I think because it was human, it just made it even worse, to be fair. Because there are just psychos out there. Do you know what I mean? Hated it. The mask was vile. Probably could have a nightmare over it. And I did like the sort of old school supernatural vibes that it had. They have done one episode like this before where it, I think one, maybe two, where it's been a human all along. What surprised me more than anything was Dean just killing the, the thin man at the end because I feel as though that wasn't needed. He could have overpowered him and sent him to the authorities to, to be dealt with. Whether or not it was because obviously the sheriff was dead down there because they killed him. Whether that was the reason, but I would have thought you'd just take them to a different sheriff's office. I don't know. I'm just surprised that he took a life like that, is my point. And when Sam brought it up, he just sort of went, humans are like a bad, They're, they can be bad people. I'm hoping I'm overthinking this. And it was just one of those things. He felt like that was the best decision and then that's it. And he's not turning so cold that lives are more easily taken. I don't know. Listening to Sam give the guy advice then. One of these days, I'm just gonna remember every single name of a character in an episode. You know what I mean though, the one with the dark hair, the ghost face with the dark hair. He said, it, forgiving it is totally up to you. And that to me just solidified him choosing that he's not gonna forgive Dean. That there wasn't like a doubt in his mind or a little hint to suggest that he was going to forgive him. So maybe this whole thing will last a lot longer than what 
I initially thought. And maybe it'll have long lasting impressions on the boys as well and the show as a whole, like the plot line type of thing. It's very interesting though, I'm enjoying exploring it and I'm really excited to see where they're gonna go. I'm wondering if we'll see the ghost faces again after this or if that'll be it now because they've had a falling out. It would be nice to see them again and back together obviously, but I'm not sure. It seemed pretty, pretty serious there, so maybe not. Yeah, it was it was a good episode. I did enjoy it, although it was terrifying and will probably scar me a little bit. But it, it was good. It was another good episode. Season nine, just killing it, killing it. Can't wait for episode sixteen. I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please give it a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe. You know if you want to. But there's no pressure here. This week, I'd like to give a special shout out to Isra. Thank you so much for joining me over on Patreon and I really hope you're enjoying the content over there. I appreciate all the support that you're giving me and I hope you enjoy my content furthermore. Please everyone feel free to check out my Patreon. I have a new tier where I react to a bunch of new shows, all the pilot episodes in those shows and it's an awesome time. I'm really enjoying it and I hope you guys will enjoy it too. So please check that out. I have plenty on YouTube as well, Pokemon related, live streams, you name it I've got it on there so I hope you're enjoying let's see if we can get this channel up to 18,000 subscribers that would be amazing hit that thumbs up button and let's share these videos hopefully get this community growing even more thank you so much everyone and I hope to see you all again soon for another video bye guys